What is up, everyone? It is Redbeard here from Audio Biz. We are coming at you live uh, from the Audio Biz What the Tech Live uh, Virtual NAM 2021. Uh, my co-host Q Ball was not able to join us uh, on this stream, but he will be back this afternoon for uh, our next session. Uh, but for this session, uh, we are going to be joined. Uh, or having joined us, I guess I should say, is Willie Stevens of SKB Cases. Uh, he is uh, the product manager, so we'll get to him in a second, but just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, this is an interactive stream, so make sure if you want to comment, have any questions or anything for Willie, uh, you can comment in your media and we'll be able to see that. So make sure that you interact with us. We'd love to hear from you. Um, also, uh, we will be talking about this a little bit later, but uh, we are going Going to be having some uh, secret words uh, that are going to be available uh, during this the session here. We'll drop that sometime during the live stream, uh, and make sure that uh, you collect all of the. Uh, secret words that we're doing. We're doing one each day and you will be uh, given the chance to win one of our fabulous mystery swag boxes and some more prizes. So uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, before we get over to Willie, I am going to drop it in and we're going to get a little bit of video uh, talking about uh, what the secret mystery box is. All right. So what is a mystery box? We've collected swag from all of our manufacturers, plus some guaranteed prizes that will be in the limited edition Audio Biz NAM 2021 mystery box. These boxes will be packed at random and filled to the brim with t-shirts, hats, stickers, all the fun swag you'd normally get at NAM. We've collected from all of our manufacturers. We're gonna pack these at random and send them to you. So all you have to do is collect the five secret words. We're going to drop one every single day. You're just going to go to this web address, fill out the form, submit your secret words and be entered to win. So these mystery boxes are limited to the first 30 people that submit the correct five secret words. So you don't want to miss out on the videos and you don't want to miss your chance to win one of our limited edition mystery boxes. This mystery box could be yours. Don't sleep, get a mystery box. All right. Hey, where's Willie? I was going to introduce him. Hey, hey, Willie, we, we started this thing. Right. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry. There I... you are. <laughs> oh, hi. Ah, I gotta going? love the case reveal. You know, it's 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 <laughs> Quite essential. So awesome. Well, uh, joining us here today, we got uh, Willie Stevens, a longtime friend. He's the production or product manager at SKB Cases. Welcome, Willie, to our uh, What the Tech NAM virtual NAM coverage uh, of this year. Unfortunately, I am not able to join you in California this year. I right. would rather be there because it's cold and snowy here in, in <laughs> Wisconsin, as you know. Uh, Yep. Willie is a former uh, Wisconsin native, so uh, he understands the importance of NAM and being able to get out into the nice warm weather. But unfortunately, this year, due to COVID, we have to do this virtually. So welcome, Willie. Thank you. So, you know, Willie, you've been to NAM many a time now. You've been doing this for a while here. So do you have any crazy NAM stories or like who's the who's the most interesting person you have seen at NAM. Well, uh, you know, as you, as you know, during the show and stuff like that, especially on the manufacturer level, it's kind of hard to get out and walk the show as much as you'd like to. So, it, you know, the funny thing is my wife has probably seen a lot more celebrities than I have because she's been able to kind of bounce from one place to, to, to the next. She was extremely excited. She got to see Alice Cooper the other day and, uh, uh, shoot one of the guys from Allison chains, uh, and so she was, uh, she was very excited about that. I would say for me personally, you know, we've been very fortunate. Uh, we've gotten together with uh, Vince Wilburn Jr. Uh, and he runs, uh, he's one of the gentlemen who runs the Miles Davis estate. And he's done some interviews in the back of our booth for a couple of years. And he's brought some really incredible artists. So probably a couple of my heroes that he brought by was uh, Clyde Stubblefield and Jabba Starks, who were drummers for James Brown. 
and have since uh, passed away. But uh, man, they just as from being a drummer and stuff like that, seeing some kind of like heroes like that, and especially Clyde being a Madison native, you know, it's uh, it, it was really it was really pretty cool to to see those guys shake their hands and everything. So I would say that's probably one of the highlights for me personally. That's awesome. Yeah. Last year, yeah. you guys had the cool mini bus that you were doing the interviews in, which was pretty awesome. So um, that's, that's cool. Yeah. It, it's, it's yeah. always interesting walking around Nam and seeing all of the, the characters and the fun people. Uh, I mentioned this on our last live stream, my idol, Josh Hami. Uh, I got to meet him one year and hang out with oh, him that's awesome. in the booth, which was pretty rad, but it's, 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 it's always fun and interesting. So yeah. So cool. You know, SKB, you know, it's been around for a long time. How many years has SKB been around? Uh, 43 years. 43 years. That is yeah. a long time. Kind of started yes. out as a small company, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was really kind of uh, born out of uh, parents' garage. And uh, the two owners, uh, Dave Sanderson and Steve Cotman, uh, they had met in college on the row team in Long Beach, and they just kind of had chatting. They became good friends, and they both kind of found a need to come out with plastic guitar cases. Uh, uh, Dave was working at Knott's Berry Farm, which is like amusement park around here, um, yeah. and he was a stagehand there. And basically, he would see people come in with wooden cases, and you know they'd be broken. And he thought, well, as a kind of a side hustle, I'll start fixing these, and then. He thought, well, there's got to be a better way to do this. And, you know, when he had met Steve in college, they said Steve was more the engineer type. And they they thought together, well, maybe we can come out with something else. Maybe a plastic case would be lighter weight. It would be stronger. Uh, let's see what we can do. And there's an old vintage uh, uh, game that uh, is out there. And basically, you can create different molds and stuff like that. It's You could do like a fake noses you could put on and little uh, insects and things like that. And you would never be able to have this game nowadays because it would probably burn the house down. But basically what you do is you'd be able to have a mold and you'd heat up a little sheet of plastic and it would form around the mold and then it would suck the air out. So it'd take shape of that. And so that kind of concept on a larger level is what they came up with. And they ended up using the uh, heating elements out of a dryer. Uh, and so they got very creative and they started doing this out of their parents' garage and kind of slowly worked their way up to uh, doing cases out of California music. Um, and they started doing band and orchestra cases out of the back. And uh, one day they uh, left something on, they burned down the entire California music shop. And so at that point, the owner of California music said, hey guys, you know, I have insurance money to cover everything. However, and he, at this point he thought, you know, he invested in it on this SKB. In fact, he's the B of SKB, Doug Brown, he owned California music. And so uh -huh. at that point, once the fire had happened, he said, guys, you know, uh, I think this this isn't for me. And so he he got out of the company at that point. And uh, Dave and Steve kind of kept going with it and kept persevering. And uh, they got their big break for Fender Guitars when they we did the 25th anniversary guitar case. And uh, they, had, they had to go to their parents and have them put second mortgages on their house so they could put up the money to show Fender that this wasn't a fly-by-night type of company. So, man, a lot of risk, a lot of perseverance in this company. And it's almost kind of, a, it really is like an American dream type of story. Somebody going out of their garage, two buddies in college, coming to where we are now, you know, shipping cases worldwide. Uh, you know, very fortunate and uh, to be where we're at. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I've I've been to the factory several times, and it's amazing the operation that you guys have here, and um, you yeah. know, building a ton of stuff in California. You also have uh, manufacturing in China and Mexico, and you employ a lot of people, which is really rad. So, um, right. you know, it's kind of SKBs. You know, really to me is synonymous with you know durability, which is is pretty awesome. Um, you've i have been lucky enough to see some of these at the nam show in previous years you've always had your uh hall of fame uh in the back of the booth there but um before we got on willie was showing me this crazy case uh that uh, was caught in a fire um you want to want to pull that out and show us kind of yeah the amazing I abilities <laughs> I got a couple cases from house fires, but the first one is a guitar case, and this came out of someone's apartment fire that they had. You can see how morphed this thing is. Uh, you know, it's really unfortunate. They're in their apartment really burned up. We have pictures on it, and everything was basically lost in this fire, except for the guitar in this case. And in fact, it still had the pick in between the strings. 
You know, so I would never uh, promote that our uh, cases are fire retardant because after a point it will melt. However, this case still opens up. The latches still work on it, which is really impressive. And the insert is perfectly fine on the case as well. It looks like there's some tape still on the inside of it. So it's amazing what they can hold up to. I got another case here that uh, one of our I-series cases, a little different method on how we make it. But this thing you can tell was melted in a house fire. The lid foam is still intact on the inside and they had studio microphones on the inside and they were perfectly fine. So it's incredible what they go through. But in both scenarios, we have a lifetime warranty on all of our hard cases. And so the uh, customers contacted us back and, uh, you know, we got the cases back and good uh, story, I guess, but uh, got them replacement cases as well. So. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. We've we've shot some videos in the past for promo videos, and we've been able to beat on them with hammers and jump on them and put them under cars. It's it's amazing what uh, the SKB cases can stand up to, which is pretty rad. So um, yeah, definitely. So you know, before we jump into a little bit more, I want to talk a little bit more about the injection molding, but. Sure. I actually want to drop our secret word uh, for today. So um, just remind everyone, uh, you make sure that you collect those secret words uh, and enter them on the Audio Biz website, uh, which we've got here. Uh, so you can go in, register to win one of our awesome swag bags uh, and uh, also some hero prizes, which uh, SKB is actually going to be giving one away uh, of one of their new laptop cases, which we're actually and talk about a little bit later but um yeah so let's uh get what uh, today's secret word is so uh, give me one minute the secret word is compact disc compact disc willie when was the last time you used a compact disc i couldn't tell you the last time because my vehicle doesn't even have a way to play one so uh <laughs> it's, it's been a minute <laughs> Funny enough, I listen to more vinyl than I do compact discs. So I don't well, know. that's awesome. You know, it's it's cyclical. Now, now the cool thing is is cassette tapes. You know, everyone's making singles on cassettes, which I don't know if I I dig that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, okay. Nobody's tried to bring back the A track yet. So <laughs> right, um, exactly. We'll see what's next. Yeah, you never know. So, um, so uh, you know, Travis actually was uh able to uh, at least join the live stream. So you know. Travis Brown, thank you for joining in. You know, Willie is a great cue ball. So, you know, that does work. It, it kind of works for the red beard <laughs> cue ball. <laughs> so, um, so injection molding, that's kind of a big shift that you guys have made in the last couple of years and made huge investments in that. Um, you know, want to tell us why you kind of ended up going the route of injection molding and kind of some of the, you know, the reasons why injection molding is such a huge part of your business now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, with injection molding, uh, basically what we're able to do is efficiently produce a case and it's extremely strong yet lightweight. And that's something that with other types of uh, molded plastic cases, injection molding is probably one of the best ways of doing it. So when we started working with Fender guitars in our first couple of cases, they were vacuum formed. And how you'd be able to tell vacuum form is it has aluminum valence around the side of it. And they're very lightweight. Um, but they can break if they get a, a big enough hit to them. And then we shifted to roto molding, which we, we still do all three of these processes because they, it, they find their own niche in there. Roto molding is a little bit different, still very durable, and it can do some unique things, but it can be heavier and there's a lot of time involved. So when we really were able to kind of do more of the injection molding, uh, when we make a case in our uh, facility, and this is why we can do it in the States, it's very efficient. It's high technology, low labor. So about every four to five minutes, we have a new case shell that comes out of the machine and the operator of the machine can assemble a good 60 to 70% of the case right there, put it on a pallet, and then we store it outside, and then we're able to bring it back in and run it down the line to put in a foam insert or dividers or whatever else we need, and then ship it out. So that it works really well for kind of a combination of all of that. Now, the, the thing that injection molding does though, is that it's very expensive investment. Um, and so not anyone can get into the, to the game of injection molding. The machines can be over a million dollars for some of them. Um, and then the molds themselves can be very costly. I, I believe the most expensive mold we have is a little over $400,000 for the mold itself. And wow. <laughs> we now have uh, 63 sizes of molds. 
Uh, the other thing, you know, from a business standpoint, the banks don't back up any of the mold costs on it. You can't uh, get money or loans for that because if you were to go under, they can't resell those. So this is a very big upfront cost for us. And that's why we get together as all the uh, divisions of our company, sports and industrial and music and photo video. And we say, hey, how can we make this next size count? And then we kind of come up with it and go from there. So, but completely watertight, dust proof. It's a military spec case. We do a lot of jobs for uh, first responders in the military. So that same technology we use in a microphone case and we use in the archery world. And so it goes all over uh, multiple industries and we're very diversified. And so, uh, injection molding for us is, is really kind of where it's at. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy to think, you know, you've got, uh, you know, a guitar case, you know, like a, a injection molded three I series guitar case, but it's also the same thing that, you know, a machine gun might go in or, you know, drum hardware and, uh, you know, rocket launcher or something like that. It's, yeah. it's pretty crazy, but you know, you guys also have kind of some, a, one of the most, uh, amount of injection molded SKUs, you know, versus all the competitors, which is pretty awesome. So you guys have different size cases for everything, which I really love. And, you know, being a production guy, I have to say my, my work box, my gig box is, is a SKB case and it gets thrown around and it, it takes the abuse and it, it is pretty cool. And one of the other cool things I really dig about uh, SKB cases that you guys have is um, you've got some really nice latches. Um, some of the competitors out there, you, you bust off fingernails and you know, you be all whiny because they're hard to open, they're hard to shut, but you guys solved that issue um, with the, the trigger latches. So you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it's a patented uh, trigger release latch and it's really uh, just extremely easy to use and it's kind of uh, intuitive where some of the other, you know, uh, competitors out there, it's either very difficult to open up the case or you open up the case and then the latches stay on the base. So you're not even using the latches to open up the lid of the case on it itself. Um, so the trigger lease latches for us are just very easy to use. So you could be in winter like you are now and be wearing gloves outside and you can close it, you know, with your knuckles, if you wanted to, you can open it with one finger, you could be wearing gloves. So it's just very easy to get in and out of. The other thing I've heard uh, when I went to one of the trade shows, a photography trade show is we had somebody come up to our booth. They tried out our latches on the cases and they were like, they were squeezing them as they opened it and then squeezing it as they went down. They're like, this is so quiet. He was like, you wouldn't believe I was shooting a wedding the other day and I was in the middle of the cathedral. And then all of a sudden, when I closed my case, he's like, this is just great. So the other nice thing about them too, is compared to some of the other ones, they're very easy to replace. So, you know, sometimes accidents happen and somebody will leave a latch open. Somebody else will hit it or break it off you can just replace a latch very simply with a pin on there. And so we just should, since we have a lifetime warranty on all of our hard cases, we just ship out a replacement latch or a handle or whatever. You can really, you can replace it really easily. So it's pretty That's efficient. Awesome. Yeah, I would yeah. agree. They are probably one of the best cases out there to use. Um, you know, your pull out handles and stuff. Also, you guys have made some improvements there to make it easier, uh, more of a luggage style, which is awesome. So just, it's, it's awesome to see that you guys are always innovating, um, you know, the products and kind of continuing to grow. And, you know, that's really cool to see. So the nice thing about it is because the cases themselves have a lifetime warranty on it. It's in our best interest to make sure they don't fail as, as often as possible. Yeah. So when we can do improvements like the pull handle or the latches or, you know, the, any type part of the case itself, that's an improvement for everybody on the road because they don't have to be without a part on their case. And it's in our best interest because not, we're not paying for the replacement part. So it's really kind of a win for everybody. Yeah. And I like that, uh, you know, things are field replaceable too. So, you know, yeah. if, if you do like accidentally snap off a handle or a, a latch, you can just call up SKB and they'll get you out of replacement and it takes you know, two minutes to install a latch kind of thing, um, yeah. which, is, which is really cool. So you're never without, you know, having to ship a big case into, you know, back to California to get a latch replaced and send it back, which is, which is quite awesome. So you guys yeah. have some cool new products that uh, are coming out at uh, out at NAM here this week. Yeah. Um, so you want to tell us a little bit about some of those um, different Definitely. ones? Definitely. Uh, sure. Uh, the first one I wanted to talk about is the one that we're going to work with you on the giveaway for, and that's our a laptop case. 
Um, this one is unique to us. We've had laptop cases in the past, but this we've been working with a company called Think Tank and they've designed the interior for us on there. And really it's just a high, uh, high level kind of sewn goods on the inside of the case. Uh, what you're seeing now is that this is a divider piece. So you have a lid organizer so you can put all the different cables and adapters. And behind that you have a pouch for catalogs or other items. And then there's this, a divider piece on the top. So you could set a laptop on there if you wanted to use it. And then when you lift it up, what you're seeing right now is the laptop below. And there's a strap that goes around to keep the laptop in place from shifting around. And then there's four uh, foam blocks in there that have hook and loop on the bottom. So you can just adjust, uh, adjust it for the size of your laptop. So if you are in an instance where you're carrying various laptops around, it's very easy to readjust those blocks and get to a different size laptop to fit in there. Um, it can fit up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro in there. And then the other thing I wanna to mention too is they have two clear pouches on the bottom of it. So you can put in a power supply or a small hard drive or something like that. And that way you make sure that it's not just roaming around and move around the case itself. And then on the outside, it's got uh, two uh, our trigger release latches, but TSA locks built into them as well. So you can lock the case if you wanted to. Yeah, that's awesome. Nowadays, with uh, obviously with all the streaming events and stuff going on, people are looking for ways to transport uh, laptops uh, amongst other computers. Right. You also had uh, um, a couple of ca new cases coming out for the Mac Pros, the, the good old cheese graters, you know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a very interesting design. It looks pretty cool. But uh, uh, yeah, basically, we have one of our iSeries cases that houses the Mac Pro Tower. So we have an option for that and it fits the other accessories, the mouse and the keyboard and then the uh, pad as well. And then besides that, we have two of our existing military racks that will fit the Mac Pro rack. And the Mac Pro rack now has built in sliding rails on it. So that will fit into uh, a couple of our existing racks on there as well that are shock protected. So depending on however you're using the Mac, we have options for either. Cool. That's awesome. Um, you yeah. also have uh, a new one of uh, addition to the fly rack series, right? Yeah, you know, it's been extremely successful for us. So basically, if you don't know what the fly rack is, is it's one of our internal rack frames that we would use in our military shock racks. And we originally took it out and it was metal and we made it into plastic, which we found we kept it even lighter weight, but still extremely strong. And then we drop it into one of our injection mold cases, our I-series cases, and it's got custom foam to hold that rack cage in place. And then it's got space below that so you can put other accessories. But really what it does at the end of the day is it's a small, lightweight, uh, in, like inexpensive compared to traditional shock rack. So it's really a shock rack, but you're cutting down that form factor. So it's, it's perfect to ship or fly with. This particular series that we came out with, the new one is a nine inch shallow series. Uh, existing, we have a 13 inch depth. And when I'm talking about depths, I'm talking from front rail to rear rail on the rack frame itself. But we've had an existing 13 inch, which has been really successful. We had a 20 inch, a little bit deeper, and this one's nine inches. So it's perfect for recording interfaces, uh, wireless microphones, uh, video switchers, uh, kind of items like that. Yeah, it's and, pretty cool. And these <laughs> Yeah, these existing SKUs do all have the uh, locking latches on them as well, and then uh, pull-out handle and wheel. So this particular one that we're looking at right now is housed in our uh, carry-on size case, our 3 i 7 So when we all travel a little bit more, uh, if you do need to travel with rack mount equipment, this is a perfect item to use for that. Yeah, it fits on all uh, all airlines, so you can get on board and use it as a carry on, which is awesome. So, uh, kind of interesting. Uh, Greg, you know, who's joining us, was just uh, commenting on the uh, mold size. It's it or the mold cost. It is pretty crazy to think of the investment that you guys are doing uh, up front on these things to to you know bring all these different products. It's it is pretty it's, mind boggling. It's <laughs> It's, it's a lot, but you know, we've been doing it for such a long time and uh, you know, we've been very fortunate to get larger projects, you know, government projects or projects for FEMA. Uh, this past year, we've done cases for portable ventilators. Uh, we did uh, cases for uh, the portable like hospitals that they were building up to, to house lighting in there as well. So there's all kinds of things that maybe you and I don't always think about. And I'm, I'm normally handle more of the music, photo, and video side of things. So when I come to these production meetings, it always blows my mind what the next use will be. Or, hey, we have a project and it's going to be for this item going to the Marines. And it's like, I didn't even know that existed, you know? So it's, it's pretty wild.
Yeah, one of the um, a couple of the other cases that you've got um, that you came out at the show with, uh, you said you've got some uh, new cases for some of the uh, like different podcasting and content creator products from like the Roadcaster and there's a new Zoom one, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So we have a couple existing SKUs for the Roadcaster. So if you own one of those, uh, please check out our site. We have one basically for the mixer and a couple microphones. And then we have another one that's a whole package where you can fit in uh, four boom arms. You can put in four of their pod mics in the mixer. And then more recently, we just launched a new uh, Zoom case that we're coming out with. It's going to fit the Zoom PodTrack P8. And then we have a smaller case that'll fit the PodTrack P4. So, yeah, we, those have been, uh, you know, I think a lot more people have been getting into podcasting uh, than they have before. And I know that when we borrowed the uh, Roadcaster, I was trying it with a couple of buddies. It was just a lot of fun. So. Yeah, it makes uh, everything quite easy and portable, uh, especially for those right. more mobile podcasting and stuff. So, yeah, you I know, mean, you're normally traveling to friends' places and other things when you're taking these items, so you want it all in one case where you can easily find what it's at, you know, where it's at, and make sure it's protected. So, yeah, Greg uh, also wanted to say he's a good buddy of mine, so I'm I'm glad to see you're watching, Greg. So, uh, he does <laughs> have a bunch of those fly racks, and you know, he's been using them for some pretty cool different uh, options for some, you know, like LV1 and. Yeah, you know, just uh, doing some wireless and all this other stuff. So it's it's pretty cool. So awesome! Thanks, um, Greg. Uh, you know, we got a question from the Audio Biz team. You know, I, I'm assuming this is Travis, but we'll see. So I'm going to pop this up <laughs> on the screen here. So Willie, if you could have any artist, living or dead, play at your funeral, who would it be? Uh, you know. I would say that's a tough question, right? Because there's a lot of great artists out there. Um, you know, one for me that uh, kind of ties a little bit more of my family together, I would say it would probably be Dave Brubeck. Uh, my dad got me into jazz at an early age, and it was mostly Miles Davis and Dave Brubeck that I was listening to growing up. And uh, But there's definitely a lot of songs of Dave Brubeck that, you know, both artists I really love. But I would say probably Dave Brubeck. Nice. Maybe not the answer you would normally think of, but I would say that's probably it. No, we, uh, on one of our previous What the Tech Lives, we uh, were talking with one of the guys from uh, uh, Hosea Cables, and uh, he had uh, mentioned uh, Copeland, uh, the conductor, uh, Aaron Copeland, oh, I yeah. believe it was. And it was uh -huh. sort of like after that, I started listening. It was kind of cool, you know, very cinematic and, you know, uh, kind of cool so i have no clue who i would have play at my my funeral you know i well, actually a, last time i said one. i said gogol bardello because it would be you know oh that would guy, be awesome you know <laughs> oh that would be good i feel like that's a difficult one right because at a funeral you don't want it to be sad necessarily so that's what i can really appreciate about you know some of the new orleans kind of like funerals i'm like man this is what i want to do i want to be in a party, party yeah. at the end so yeah exactly so we got one more uh, cool new item that came, is coming out this year at NAMM, uh, and this is close to your heart since you are a drummer. But um, luckily, you don't have to be flying on planes with drums or anything like that. But uh, if you did, you guys came out with the new, cool new cymbal vault. Yeah, very excited about this, like you said, coming from being a, a drummer myself. So uh, basically what we wanted to do is we wanted to like have another option for drummers traveling with cymbals. And so this is our cymbal flyer. We showed the prototype last year, but now we have it in full production. And basically this can house up to uh, eight cymbals on the inside of it. Uh, and you're able to house drum heads in the back pocket and the lid that you can see. And then when you open up that pocket and the lid, there's a small pocket too, so you can throw in drum keys. It's got pull out handle and wheels on it. And then also what we utilize in this case is we have the same plush EPS and our proven guitar flight cases. So it can be shifted around, it can take a hit, and it won't be an issue traveling with the cymbals. Also, if even if you're not traveling with the cymbals, it's just a really great kind of uh, storage solution for all your cymbals, a nice way to keep everything organized at the house. So yeah, we're very excited about this case for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, symbols, it's its amazing. Again, an another thing that can be uh, super expensive. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's a good thing to keep those uh, all protected, so. Yeah, they come with uh, four div uh, like little divider pads as well, and that way you can stack them in between the symbols so they don't scr uh, scratch. So if you do have a symbol you spend a, a lot of money on, uh, you know you can keep it extra protected from getting scratched up. So, 
Awesome. Well, our time yeah. is ending. So I appreciate you uh, jumping on board with us on this day one of virtual NAM 2021. And I hope to be able to uh, come out to California sometime this year yes. and uh, hang out with you a little bit more and, and see everyone at the SKB factory. So um, I appreciate yeah. uh, you joining us and also yeah. just uh, for everyone watching, make sure you get those secret words and go to audiobiz.com forward slash NAM 2021. Uh, and you can register to win one of those uh, mystery swag boxes. And also you could be potentially the person that could win the cool new uh, 3i injection molded laptop case uh, from SKB. So we appreciate you all for joining in and uh, stay tuned for more uh, live sessions. Uh, we got one more today and we'll be coming at you live every day throughout the week of uh, NAM 2021. So thanks again, Willie, for joining us. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye.